Because salvation doesn't consider your ear that you are saved in salvation. You are saved every day. Salvation day is the day you are enable to listen to the word that is bothering you. Then you never knew that is your day to be saved. Amen. Normally God has enabled you to listen Amen. Normally God has enabled you to listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was saved in 1983. And I confessed a lot. I confessed a lot. Then one day here. I was attacked by a disease. I could not read the Bible. And nobody could know that. From 1990. Mpaka elfu mbili na moja. To 2001. Mwezi wa kumina mbili. That is December. Jumatano ya kwanza. First Wednesday. Ya mwaka huo. Of that year. Mwezi wa December huo. That is December. Ndiyo nikapata hilo neno. That's when I got the word. Ndiyo kwenda nizuhia kutukusoma hii biblia. That was stopping me from reading the Bible. Wanda Yesu asuwe sana. Amen. Pia nikashiko na asma. I was also attacked by asma. Mwaka huo wa tisaini huo. The same year 1990. Sasa niko hapa kanisani so I was right in charge lakini but sitafuti dhambi yangu ni nini I was not seeking for my sin inaonifanya mimi nimeshikwa na asthma that is making me to be attacked na by asthma huko kwetu nani aliye na asthma I look at our village who has asthma ni nani aliye na asthma who has asthma na tena nimefundishwa I got have been told mambo ya kuambukizana about swearing si halali katika kuokoka it's not legitimate in salvation ona yule wakoni wana ugonjwa why you having this waamini wewe nao utakuwa na ugonjwa huo then you also believe that you'll have the same Tumefundishwa we've been taught ugonjwa a disease ni dhambi ufanyayo mwenyewe is out of the sin you commit naangalia huko kwetu ndani yale na asthma i'm looking at our village who has asthma nasija muona hata mmoja and i've never seen it kwa hivyo sikuamini kwamba yule asthma i didn't believe that it's said nikawa naipinga tu i was resisting na haiondoki and it was not going away naipinga tu i was resisting na haiondoki and it's not leaving me mpaka mwaka huo wa 2001 till 2001 miaka 11 for 11 years Macho yangu yalifunguka wakati huo. My eyes were open that time. Ile upumu iliondoka wakati huo. And the asthma too went away that time. Nilikuwa nateseka sana. I was really suffering. Nilikuwa nachemua hapa. I could sneeze here. Ukiketi hapa. If you are seated here. Basi unasikia pua ni kana kama kuna mtu anayeparuza paruza hivi. So I feel like something is irritating my nose. Nikiingia kwa matatu. When I get to the matatu. Watu wamejipuliza mule perfume. People perfume themselves. Na mimi niko sana wakati huo na mafuta yote sana. And that time I could not agree with Basi any kind of man. So I really suffered. Even if I have a, a handkerchief, it will Kiloe. be wet and be wet. I'm just sneezing in the midst of many. Amen. Lakini jumatano hiyo, but that Wednesday, ya mwanzo wa December, that is the beginning of December, wa 2001, jumatano ile ya kwanza, the very first Wednesday, Nikawa nimetoka Dar es Salaam. I had come from Dar es Salaam. Tulienda na Pastor Pascal. I went with Pastor Pascal. Mchungaji alisema, The man of God said, Aliombea watu wengi sana. He paid for so many people. Endeni mkafanye mashauri. You go and do counseling. Tukaenda. We went. Tukakaa mwezi mmoja tukarudi. We stayed there for a month then we came back. Baadaye mimi nikarudishwa huko zile Jumapili tatu. Later on after three Sundays I was taken. Endeni nije na watu. I go then I come with people. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Sasa hiyo Jumatano so that Wednesday ya mafundisho of the teachings ya mafundisho of the teachings ya mafundisho of the teachings ndio zile picha mbili zikaja. Doesn't these two pictures appear unto me? Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Dhambi za kukosa heshima lacking the honor. Nimekaa hapa. I've stayed here. Na mimi kuna mzee hapa and there's a man here. Nilikuwa nimemshifu sana. I had really praised him so much. Ana imani kubwa sana. He had great faith in Bana me. Bana na macho yangu. Because I used to see him with my Ye own eyes. Asma. He has asthma. Na anatumwa eh, eh, ni mahali gani? Kaptagat. He used to be sent to Kaptagat. Same in a forest ya Baridi. A very cold forested area. Anapita anaenda huko. He is passing by and going to Kaptagat. Anaenda kukana baridi huko. He'll go there stay in the cold. Arudi Mariakani. And come back to Mariakani. Arudisho huko. And be taken the same place. Asiku mshikia hata siku moja. I didn't hear him any given day. Akilalamika kwa nini mimi kuna baridi tena wananituma huko. Complain that why are you sending me in a cold place? Na wanajua mimi na asthma. And you know I have asthma with me. Siku mshikia akilalamika huko. I didn't hear him complaining. Kila akisimama, whenever he stands, anatangaza alipo na pumu. He's announcing that he was healed from asthma. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Na anasumbuka and he was suffering lakini hakiri kwamba ni ugonjwa ni ugonjwa but he could not confess that Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana amen 
mwendazake Grishan Kiju the late Grishan Kiju ikawa tunalala kwa gorofa hii we used to sleep in this story building here sasa usiku tukienda kulala now midnight when you go to sleep kule nyuma kuna dirisha behind there there's a window unajua upande ule kuna ingi, kuna kuja baridi you know the other side there's a lot of anaenda kuketi kwa hiyo form he'll go and sit on that form alafu aweke kichwa chake kwa hii dirisha and lean his head on the window akitafuta hewa seeking for the breeze cool breeze maana hawezi kupumua because he could not breathe properly kwa hawezi kupumua he could not breathe by his nose ndio 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 upumue tena ndio unene he was to speak and breathe by the mouth basi anangorota so he was snoring anangorota and snoring bwana yesu asubuhi sana amen mimi hata sikuona ni shida hiyo and i didn't think it's a problem nikawa na msifu i used to praise him so much kwa imani aliyonayo by the faith he had lakini shetani but the devil aliambo ni muongo was called to be alive tena ni baba wa huo uongo again the father of yeye anafanya kuuzaa he is the one begathing all nilipita kwenda kujisaidia huko nyuma i passed by to go and leave myself behind there ameketi hapa na ngoroma he was sitting there snoring kwa saa nane za usiku at around 2 at night nikirudi when i came back basha akatoa ngurumo so he was really roaring and snoring kasi kale mtu ananena hapa na already something spoken me na huyu mzee and this man here yeye alishikia I heard. Missionary akaanza kanisa tu. When missionary started the church. Yeye hakukaa sana alikuja. He didn't stay for long. He came in here. Na bado missionary anafundisha imani. And missionary still yeah, teaching about dhambi, sin na lana and a curse. Paka saa hii. Even right now. Yeye atakuwa hajasikia. Hasn't he heard? Au hajaona dhambi yake? Or maybe hasn't he seen his sin? Au yake? Or his curse? Na watu wanapona hapa magonjwa makubwa makubwa. And people are healed of very serious diseases. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Nikasema ha. I said really. Ah watu wanapenda sifa hao. These people love to be recognized. Sasa badala ya kumwambia yeye. So instead of telling him. Nikawaambia wote. I told them all. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Ah watu wanapenda sifa. These people love the praise. Hawataka kuonekana hawajaokoka. They don't want to be seen. They know. Na mimi naenda nyumbani. And I was going home. Lakini kuna mtu ananena hapa. But there's one speaking to me in here. Anaona akienda kungamana na neno kubwa kama he thinks me when he goes to confess that he will be seen he wasn't saved. Ah na Yesu anataka kweli. Now Jesus wants the truth. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Na yeye anaogopa hiyo kweli. And he fear the truth. Sasa ataponaje? Ah how will he be healed? Ah naangoje mpaka siku ile. Now let him wait for the day. Atakaochoka that he'll be tired. Na kule kuteseka. With the suffering. Akaingia kwa rumu. I got to my room. Sikumaliza wiki moja. I didn't stay for more than one week. Nikaanza kuchemua. I started sneezing. Kamasi kama maji. You know mucus like water. Na hiki kifua kikaanza kufungana. And my chest was congested from Mapafu there. Mapafu yakaanza kufungana. The lungs were congested from there. Ipua hii pua hii. My nostril. Ilifanana ilishindiliwa nyuzi hapa. It sounded like it was blocked. Hakuna hewa inatoka juu kutoka nje. There's no air coming Wala out. Wala kutoka nje kwenda ndani. Even inhaling inside. Kwa hivyo nikaanza kungoroma kama hiyo. So I started snoring like him. Kama vile alivyokuwa akingoroma hiyo. Like he was snoring. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Niliteseka sana. I really suffered. Na si, sikubali. And I didn't accept. Nasema nani huko kwetu? I say who in our village? Sikumuona mtu aliye na pumba. I didn't see anybody with asthma there. Badala ya kutafuta dhambi yangu. Instead of seeking for my sin. Na nimesumbuka hiyo miaka yote. And I had suffered for all those years. Bwana Yesu asubuhi sana. Amen. Mpaka siku ile nilipojaliwa. Till the day I was enabled. Kusikia. To listen. Kumbe ndio siku ya kuokoka kwako. So that was the day of my salvation. Na ile shida. That day nilikuwa mshirika i was a member kaja kuhubirini then i came to preaching lakini ile dhambi but the sin nilikuja kunivamia hapa came and attacked me right here mwaka wa 90 in 1990 paka 2001 to 2001 bwana yesu asubuhi sana amen nasumbuka tu i was just suffering nasumbuka tu really suffering nikiingia magarini when i got to the vehicles nasumbuka tu suffering bwana yesu asubuhi sana amen basi nikashukuru mungu so i really thank god bwana alifundisha because he told na nikaonyeshwa and i was shown vile nilivowaza how i thought in me ndani ya huyo mzee upon that old man ilikuwa ni jumatano kama hii it was a wednesday like this one here alhamisi asubuhi i followed him thursday in the morning kwa ofisi yake in his office nikaenda nikamweleza maneno yangu i went and told him my issues nikaenda kueleza kweli yote i went and shared the truth hapo nilikuwa nimefanya kushika ile vazi I was just having a piece of Lakin it. Here. But I followed him in the office. And told him the entire truth. That's when I was healed. I went to Dar es Salaam. Then I was delivered. And I didn't know. I didn't know I was delivered. Till I came back to this place. So I'm okay from that point. 2002. January. January I went back again. So I, I was surprised. I preached on Sunday. Monday nikaanza kuona sasa I said seeing now nimekaa pale nje pale I'm seated outside kwa baridi in a cold place Kaona nasoma Biblia I'm reading the Bible Bwana nasomeka kirahisi Why is it easy for me to read 
So I read it for a long time. Again, I feel my chest. It's very light. I'm not forcing myself to breathe. I started feeling my nostrils. I'm open to breathe. Amen. I was healed from there. Because I saw my sin. Now salvation. It's not the years you have in salvation. The day will be enabled to listen the word that is bothering you. That is the day of your salvation. Amen.